Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pots, Pans, and Priscilla. Today, we are going to make something that's going to be quick and easy for those days that you just don't have time to cook, but you still want to have a home-cooked meal. We are going to make teriyaki chicken with a side of fried rice. It's going to be so good, super quick, so let's go. Let's get cooking. Our ingredients are going to be white rice, olive oil, soy sauce, a can of peas and carrots, one yellow onion, some butter, and eggs. For the chicken, we're gonna do chicken thighs. With our sauce, we're gonna have honey, teriyaki sauce, salt and pepper, and some garlic. The thing that's gonna take the longest in this recipe is cooking your rice. So go ahead and get that going first. You can just follow the directions on the back for however many servings you need. So I went ahead and I had my water boiling. I'm gonna drop this rice in there and then we will chop up our onion, get our eggs going, and then we can start on our chicken while we're waiting for that rice to cook. It takes about 20 minutes. All right guys, so when I cut onion, I have to have my goggles. My eyes are just so, they're just baby eyes. So I'm gonna call these my birth control glasses. Because you want your husband to not touch your butt and stuff while you're cooking, put your birth control glasses on. It'll, you'll be fine. And your eyes won't hurt from cutting these onions, I'm telling you. So if you want a pair of these, just go down in the link below and I can hook you up. We're just going to move the onion off to the side. That's going to be for our fried rice. But we um, also need some fresh garlic for our chicken. So for my garlic, I like to use this. You put your garlic in there. Oh, my eyes are watering. I should leave my glasses on. I'm telling y'all. So you just do like this. You put a little pressure on it. You gotta, you gotta work your arms out. Ta-da! It doesn't always come off that easy. It made me look really good just now. And then all your peels are just inside there. Once again, go down in the link description and you can get one of those amazing garlic peelers. Two for two. I'm sorry if y'all can hear my cameraman chewing. He's enjoying the buffalo chicken dip I made yesterday. It was football day. If you have not seen that recipe, I will link it up here. Go check it out. It's awesome. It's really good for football season, but any any time really. It's just a good recipe. All right guys, so we've got our onion cut up. We've got our garlic. Now we are gonna make our sauce for the chicken. So you're just gonna start with about a half a cup of teriyaki sauce. I went ahead and got the low sodium just because you can cut corners sometimes. And this dish is already salty, so we didn't need to add any more salt. Then I'm gonna take about two tablespoons of honey. Just add that to your teriyaki. Then you can take the garlic that you minced up and add that to the sauce. I did about three cloves, so it's all in your preference what you like. You're gonna mix those three things together. And then what we're gonna do is, once we have the chicken in the pan, I'm just gonna put salt and pepper on the chicken, and then I'll pour this over the top of the chicken while it's cooking. So let's just take a little bit of olive oil, put it in the pan. Then you can just move your pan so you get it all around to coat the bottom of it. Take your salt and pepper, put it on the top of your chicken. And I love these short tongs like this. This is what I like to work with. You're going to put that face down. Like that. Oh, that says our rice is done, but we can just let it sit there while we're doing our chicken. Again, put it face down. I like to cook um, a couple of meals at a time, like enough to have leftovers, um, because you know, you don't want to cook every night. 
So this is one of those easy nights, but then you can also have enough for another night or lunch or whatever. Abby takes her lunch every day and she loves eating this stuff for leftovers. Again, just do your little bit of salt and pepper on your chicken. Now, if you wanted to leave some of your garlic out of the sauce and put it now, you could. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my sauce and spoon it over the top. Not all of it though. It just kind of lets it cook into the chicken while it's doing its thing. It smells so good right now. Okay. So then what you'll do is you'll put the rest of this, once you flip your chicken, you're gonna put the rest over the other side. So now you just let your uh, chicken sit here in a bubble bath for a little bit until it um, is cooked on that side. And at the end, we're gonna do our rice. And like I said, this is gonna be a super easy meal for you to do on a weeknight. If you have sports activities or dance or whatever it is your kids are involved in, this would be something really easy that you can throw together. I went ahead and moved my chicken over to a different burner so we could just let it sit there and get that nice teriyaki glaze on it while we're doing our fried rice. So again, you're just gonna start with a little bit of olive oil in your pan. If you've ever been to like a hibachi steakhouse or anything like that, this is how they do it. They just start with some oil. You're gonna put in that onion that you cut up earlier. Get it going. And then I took my peas and carrots, and to make this faster, I just used the canned carrots. You could do, um, you know, fresh carrots or frozen peas, whatever you wanna do, but that's what part of this was making it easy and quick for you guys. So obviously you drain that off, and then you just add all of that right into the pan, and you wanna mix it around. We're gonna use, this is our spoon we have our rice on, so it's fine. Gonna mix it around into that olive oil and then I'm gonna get a couple of eggs and I'm gonna crack those eggs right into this pan because it's gonna be like scrambled eggs one well, that had a weird thing on it I don't know what that is And two. So just scramble your eggs right in the same pan. All right, so you've got your eggs done. Now you just mix all of that together. I'm hoping this pan is big enough for my rice. The more I look at it, the more I feel like it's not. I'm gonna turn my heat up a little bit just because we're making fried rice. So you want it to get harder than what it already is. So just let this go for a little bit. Now, if you wanted to, you could take this out of the pan, do your fried rice, let it get going, and then add this back in, which that might be what we do just to save room in the pan. Again, olive oil. <laughs> it is your best friend for this meal. As you can see, I transferred the vegetables over there. I'm gonna dump the rice in here. Maybe. Throw a little bit of salt and pepper on the rice. What, isn't this what they do? 
Get you get what I'm doing? <laughs> really crazy lady? No. Okay. Then you're gonna add soy sauce. Now, add your soy sauce a little bit at a time because it is gonna be salty. You can always add more. Okay. I went ahead and cut up three teaspoons of butter. So one, two, three. Butterfly. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. The jokes. I've been hanging out with Asa too long. Got dad jokes. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and add this back in and get it all mixed in together. So my rice turned out a little bit sticky. I think it still tastes good, but it did turn out a little sticky. That's okay. It'll, it'll be fine. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? I mean, I would like for it to be, but. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit more butter now that I have the vegetables back in there. Okay guys, I hope your family enjoys this recipe. If you make any changes, comment down below. Let me know what you do different. Um, we're gonna get this plated up and I have to go get Abigail from school, but now dinner's ready. So it was super easy. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you aren't already. And we will see you next time. Bye. So if you need a pair of these, just go down in the link below and you can get your pair of birth control onion goggles. Don't be touched about butt, I got my birth control glasses on. <laughs>